In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Montage Magic in more creative ways using my fonts. Here's an example of creating a fake looking envelope with postage stamps using just a couple of fonts I've downloaded. So I'm going to open up Montage Magic, tap the My Fonts button, and here are all the fonts I've already downloaded. Now, some contain symbols rather than text, like this font for example. And that's the sort of thing we're going to use now. So to create the fake postage artwork, I'm going to download some fonts from dafont.com. Tap on free fonts and the top link. The font I'm after is Dead Letter Office, so let's just search for that now. Now before I download it, you can get a preview of the font and this can be quite useful when you're using symbols so that you can see which symbol maps to which character and this will help you later. But for now I'm just going to download the font. Tap on open in Montage Magic and confirm. And here you can get again a preview of the fonts it's downloaded with the different postage stamps. Before I uh, make the envelope, I'm going to download one more font. I'm going to go to the typewriter category and I'm going to download a typewriter font that looks a little bit more realistic. So, Again, tap on download, open in Montage Magic and tap yes. So let's create a new collage. I'm just going to use the plain theme. And the first thing I need to do is just change the background. Choose the cardboard and tap done. Now I simply add the text labels. Now I just happen to know which characters I need to use, but you might need to try a few or check out the, check out the details of the font website to see which characters map to which symbols. So again, tap on the My Fonts and use one of the fonts we've just downloaded. I'm going to add the first class symbol and this time I'm going to use red. And now I'm going to do a recycling stamp. This is a different font in green. And now we just need to put in the name and address. And so for that, I'm going to use the typewriter font that I downloaded earlier. And finally, let's put in an address. And there we go, a fake looking envelope. Now you can use the My Fonts feature to load all sorts of fonts with symbols. For example, 
Here are a bunch of Lego characters using the Lego symbol font.